right, so this is a two-person conventional forcible entry on a inward swinging door. So we're going to use the shock, gap, set, force technique, and uh, firefighter Pizzotti's in here. The first thing you want to do is you're walking up the door, size up the door. You're looking at the material, you're uh, seeing if it is in fact an inward swinging door, and as you're walking up to it, you can, um, you know, get a good idea if there's any additional locking hardware, uh, would be evidence in bolts, uh, bolts throughout the door, maybe uh, could indicate a bars in there. What shocking the door is going to be is striking the door at the uh, top, middle, and bottom. It's going to give you an indication of maybe where the locking mechanisms on, are on the door. So there might be, uh, it might be pins or something with a fox lock, or might be additional uh, locking hardware in the middle, or there might be no hardware in the middle. So it's going to give you an idea of where to properly attack the door, and on a, on a cheap door it might uh, even start your forcible entry with it. So um, once again, make sure you control the door when we, uh, when we force entry, that's when ventilation starts. If you have a strap or something, this doesn't have a handle, but you can uh, tie a strap or something to the door to, uh, in fact, control the door. The step is that after we shock the door is we're gonna come in and gap the door. So the way we gap the door is we can slide the pads in here and we can rock the tool up and down. If you can't get a good gap there, you can put some pressure with your foot on the bottom and uh, you can save your progress with, the, uh, with a wedge, ax, something like that. So maybe I can, I can work my tool up and then once I get it in here, I can start gapping the door here or up. Okay. Now we got a good, if you can see here, we got a nice gap to work with here. So the next thing I'm gonna try to do is get my put my um, bevel towards the door. Okay, I'm gonna stand on this side. Okay, if I can't still, if I still it's too tight to get in there, what I can do is I can take the tool and I can flip it around this way. And what we're gonna do is look at a seam line with tool ready to go. We can start uh, forcing entry this way, but the problem is, is that we're, when we go to spread it or force it, we're going to lose some of that spread because we lose about four inches when we push the tool in this way. If that happens, you can flip the tool around and come back and force the door this way and get more of that level drive. All right, so we'll come in with bevel towards the door. He's going to get a position, marry the uh, ax to the ads. That way if I move, he moves with me. If he can't see me, I'm going to give you a command to hit. Hit means one strike. So go ahead and hit. Okay. I'm, I gotta put inward pressure in on this door while I'm doing this or it's just gonna sit there and bounce like that. Okay, hit. 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 Not getting any progress there, stop. Okay, I'm gonna come move the tool this way now. Okay, hit in line here. All right. Hit, 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 drive. Okay, stop. So what we're going to do is try to drive this tool in and around so we get that fork buried in behind the door there. So do we want the V? To be even with the jam, okay? So I gotta keep pushing pressure here, okay? Hit, 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 there we go. Hit, 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 drive. Stop. Okay, you got the crotch of the Halligan is even with the with the jam we're going to you don't want to be on this side let i mean unless there's a wall here or something you don't want to be pulling this way you always want to be pushing this way so what we're going to do next is okay we push it in look we lost that so now what we can do hold that hold my cat there okay okay i'm going to pull this out watch okay now i slide this tool in this way okay let's see if i can get it forced here no okay Come in and slide the axe in here. This way. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, get your head down and low. Okay. Okay, what we can try to do here, now of course, use that. Let's say we got a good gap here. It's still holding. What you can do now is come and say progress, whatever, throw the uh, axe in here. Okay, now you can slide to where it's holding. Okay, you can either rock down or 
use the ads end here, okay, to finish it off. Here, okay. So, reach out and control the door. That's your inward swing door.